Good morning, ESM. On our second to last show of the year, Jaden and I decided to take a look at the Rolling Stones, um, the list of their best rap and hip hop albums of all time. And we'll take a look at some of them more after news and announcements. For news this morning, the man accused of raping a student on the Lemoyne College campus has been arrested 32 times prior to this offense. 35-year-old Gerald Walker has faced at least 65 charges since 2004. These charges include at least seven grand larcenies, five burglaries, and several other petite larcenies, harassment, drugs, and weapon charges. His 33rd arrest came overnight between Thursday and Friday when Lemoyne College security spotted the man matching the description of the suspect being sought for the rape of a college student in a townhouse on campus Tuesday. Walker was taken to jail with no bail. In other news, country music star Toby Keith announced Sunday that he has been undergoing treatment for stomach cancer since last fall. The multi- Platinum Selling Singer said on Twitter that he underwent surgery and received chemotherapy and radiation in the past six months. I am looking forward to spending this time with my family, but I will see the fans sooner than later, and I can't wait, said Keith. The status of Keith's performances for the remainder of the year wasn't immediately clear, and his next performance is scheduled for June 17th in Wheaton. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, so to start off the list uh, is number 200. It's the last place on the list, and they ranked Astroworld there by Travis Scott, and I don't think that's fair because they ranked 199 albums <laughs> above <laughs> Astro World. <laughs> uh, another classic album, one of my personal favorites, was the 2014 Forest Hill Drive. Uh, they ranked it at 132. Mm -hmm. And we'll go more into the top 50 after weather. Today we can expect clear skies unlike last week, so it's going to be a nice nice uh, two days to end off the school year without any issues. However, that does mean we won't get rain because Thursday and Friday are expected to be rain, but that's later in the week so we don't have to, we don't have to worry about it yet. Today on Monday is going to have a high of 76 and a low of 54. Tomorrow is going to be slightly warmer with a high of 80 and a low of 59. Wednesday is going to be our first day of no school, which has been a while since that happened, but they have 85 and a low of 68. So overall, it's a very nice week to have our last week of school. With that, I'm Grayson with your weather. So coming off of Forest Hill Drive in 132, um, we have a far superior album uh, at 129, A Whole Lot of Red by Cardi. It's an absolute classic. Absolute classic, totally deserves a spot in the top 150. And then we're taking a jump right here. We're going right to number 16, which is Cardi B's Invasion of Privacy from 2018. What is it? I, I'm, I have no words. Personally, one of my favorite albums. I've listened to it many times. Uh, but then, of course, uh, we have Kanye with uh, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy number six. at number six. I think that's a good place for it. And then Kendrick Lamar's To Pimp a Butterfly at number five, which is a very, very I think good it place for it. It's a well deserved top mm -hmm. five. All right, and let's go on to sports. Congratulations to Mike Parks for winning both the state and federation races for the 110 hurdles, making him the number one hurdler in the state. Aquaquani finished fourth in the state and eighth in the federation in the high jump with a PR of 5-5. The boys 100 relay team of Dan Tovar, Mike Parks, Aiden Hurt, and Rocky L got the sixth in state in the state qualifier. Or sorry, the state and championship meet. 
Remember to sign up on Family ID if you are going to join a fall sport. And to quote my hero, Sol Schofield, I'm Sol Schofield, and this is sports. Uh, thank you for the talking about Sol. Um, the final album, sorry we didn't grab a picture of it, is um, The Notorious B.I.G. is Ready to Die, which I think is a really good album. Mm -hmm. I don't know about number one, but yeah, a very hit or miss list. Right. But um, from me, Jaden, and everyone else here at The Morning Show, uh, have a great second to last day of school.